This video is designed to talk you through the three main processes that uh, change and impact on rivers. The first process is called erosion. The second process is called transportation. And the third process is called deposition. These three processes are all inherently linked. However, we are going to deal with them each individually for the purposes of our understanding. I'm going to first of all deal with erosion. If we have a look at the definition section here, erosion is the breakup and removal of the land due to the action of rivers. If we come down to here we can see this picture represents a pile of cash uh, and this word cash is going to be useful for us to remember the four types of erosion. C is type 1, A is type 2, S is type 3, and H is type 4. Let's come back up to the definitions. The first uh, type is called corrasion. I see there's a spelling mistake uh, here. That should be spelt C-O-R-R-A-S-I-O-N. It can also be called abrasion. And this is the load carried in the water which erodes the river bed and banks. So essentially we have little stones and pebbles and boulders which are carried along in the current and these bash off the river bed and banks and wear away the river bed and banks. That's process number one. Process number two is attrition. This occurs when eroded material crashes against other eroded material and gets smaller and rounded. So this, is the, this occurs basically when small stones and pebbles are carried in, in the river, in the current. These bash off other small stones and pebbles and both of them get uh, worn down uh, and made smaller and more rounded. The third uh, type is called solution. Uh, this can also be called corrosion. And this occurs when weak acids within the river water dissolve the river bed and banks. The fourth and final type is called hydraulic action and this is basically the force of the water wearing away the bed and banks. If we come down to this picture we can see clearly uh, a sketch of a, of a river, a cross section of, of a river. We have got in this area here we will have the land and obviously the blue section represents the river which is flowing towards us out of, out of the screen. Each of the black down uh, labels represents uh, one of the methods of, of erosion. The first method of erosion that I would like to have a look at relates to this one over here and it points to this part of the river here. So basically this represents the hydraulic action which is essentially the force of the water wearing away the river bed and banks. This second label uh, represents solution which is the weak acids in the water dissolving um, the river bed and banks and the load that's carried within the river. Um, this uh, label here represents abrasion which is the river bed and banks being eroded as these boulders are transported or moved or rubbed along the surface of the riverbed and banks. This label here represents attrition. So in this example here, this eroded material which is being carried along bashes into each other and breaks off little bits which fall uh, and get transported along. So that represents the four processes of erosion. This slide is going to talk to you about transportation. If we have a look first of all at the definitions we can see that transportation is the movement of eroded material. So following the erosion of uh, the riverbed and banks the material which is small enough uh, to be carried by that river will be moved. Again there are four types of transportation 
and which method of transportation is used depends on the size of the eroded material which is to be moved. If we come down to this diagram here, we will sort uh, these examples. This is the largest material, which is very, very heavy. This is the second size of material. This is the third size of material. And this is the fourth size of material. So we're going from number one being the largest to number four being the smallest. If we come back up to the definitions. Number one would be moved by traction. This is the rolling of the heaviest material along the riverbed. So you can see number one here represents traction, the rolling of the heaviest material along the riverbed. I try to use this as the idea of a tractor wheel rotating, moving heavy material. The second category is called saltation. This is the bouncing of medium sized material along the riverbed. Here we have saltation as number two. I tend to think of this as salt and you bounce your salt shaker up and down to put dinner salt uh, on your dinner. Number three is suspension. Small material is carried in the current. So again we can see here number three small material is carried in the current. I try to think of this as the material being suspended from the roof. The fourth and final method of transportation is solution when fine eroded material dissolves and is carried in the water. And again we have the example of solution here. This may not necessarily be seen in the river because the material is so small. The final process uh, is called deposition and this is the setting down of eroded material. There is nothing else to understand really about the process apart from the fact that once material has been eroded it gets transported and then it gets deposited or set down. There are three rules however for the deposition, for deposition to occur. It happens when the velocity of the river slows down. This occurs in a number of different areas. It could be on the inside of a river bend um, or it could be near the mouth where the river starts to slow down as it enters the sea. Heaviest material is always dropped first, so uh, that's fairly self-explanatory. And it commonly occurs whenever a river enters a lake or the sea, we see lots of deposition.